Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play. In the name of Zara, the Ottoman Empire. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So, uh, we are at war with the Allies. Uh, we f if you look at who we're fighting, we are fighting a decent amount of people, uh, you could say. What's happening in China really doesn't matter. Um, I think Japan is going to lose, which is bad for us. I think Germany's going to lose, which is bad for us. I don't want to say, like, already that this is probably a failed campaign. They think, my, they think one of my submarines are bastards. Where are the rest of my ships? They have two navies. Where are you guys? You should be trying to sink everybody you possibly can. We got some Italian ships. I mean, are we doing superiority here? We still do, which does at least mean that they're not going to be able to do more naval invasions. But again, that's not saying much. You guys go back over here, reinforce Yellow Army. You can try to take the fight to them. I don't know how likely that's going to be, in all honesty, but... Mostly because you're kind of bad. Yeah, we did sink a single convoy. Not that impressive. Let's take the extra research slot. That would be nice. Yeah, you're still doing a friend Turkey. You know what? I appreciate the effort, but it's a little bit too late to join your faction because we're already doing it. You should have gotten um, war with Russia. It's a little bit late on that one as well. Or United Baltic Duchy. Too late to do defend Russia as well. I'm just saying. We lost three ships. We did sink four. Really, I'm just trying to make sure the convoys can't do too much. And also, you go defend on this island over here. I don't want the Italians just to move up and through these, uh, like, island hop, basically. That would be bad for us. Uh, we sink another French convoy. Fantastic. Our reinforcements are slowly arriving to where they need to be. But, of course, these troops aren't actually any good. They're, right now, they're all green. I just needed more men on the field so that I can reposition the better troops. Yeah, we sink another four convoys. I mean, again, we don't really have a lot of oil. Even with the oil we now produce... Not importing any either. Uh, let's import like five factories worth of oil. Okay, so now we actually have an oil surplus, which I would say is actually in our best interest, of course. Uh, you guys go to purple, so we have a full purple line ready to go. Of course, I don't think we're going to be able to really attack it again. It's just a very, it's a defensive line. Oh, Germany. How have you fallen this far behind? I don't understand. I mean, France is taking huge casualties. Like, they've drained a lot of manpower fighting you, but... I think they have no manpower right now at all. Are they on an extensive? They aren't extensive. So, Germany might be able to drain the French army and then counterattack. Not really what I was expecting to happen, but if it works, it works. We're doing some pretty good, nice work, sinking a lot of uh, convoys and shipping. We got some unknown amount of ships. That's all fine. Yeah, reinforcements have now arrived. Let's see if we can actually just like a counter attack into them. It might be difficult, and I don't think we're gonna win every single engagement, but we could win a handful, which would be nice. Uh, so we got some more new fresh troops. One of them can go down to brown, but other than that, we're gonna need to uh, create a brand new army underneath you. And your job right now is to support the Austrian front. Of course, don't be blue. We already have a blue army. You can be like deep red. And you're going to push your way up to this river. Yeah, if you just want to go over there, that would be uh, lovely. And all these troops are also almost ready to deploy once again. They, they train pretty fast, which is nice. 
I mean, I don't know if that gives him a bonus or anything like that, but I'll take it. I mean, this would have been a point we would have war anyways. Yes, we're taking more convoys. If Britain just, like, wants to stay out of here, they are putting more ships into the region because they are getting a little bit scared of us. Which is understandable. Again, if I can take the entire coastline, if I can go, like, here to Beirut, if I can take Damascus, actually, that would be really nice. You guys keep on deploying over here. Keeping on sinking their navies. All their convoys should die. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yes, we should push here. That attack is not going to go anywhere, unfortunately. But the attack here might. France is trying to send a handful of men in this direction. Not a big fan of that, obviously. You know, we do have a... You know what, let's go for even the next level of fighters. Fighters with close air support, I think, is really the only thing we're actually building in terms of planes. We still have engineering troops here. I mean, it probably would work to uh, set some time aside to reorganize these guys so the people who are mountaineering are fighting in the actual mountains. Probably won't even be a bad idea. How many mountaineering troops do you have? Just, are you mounting any troop? Yes. So send these three guys to deal with purple. And then purple, send three of your kind of shitty troops to deal with uh, you. And that should be fine, because this is basically mountains all here, so it would be beneficial for us. Political advisor, again, Nobody here actually helps me out at all. Like, not even slightly. You know what, ship designer? Might as well. Like, what else are we going to research at this point, honestly? Not a sign of visions. You guys keep on going down to red. We win another battle. We did. We sank one ship, seven um, convoys. But, of course, we can't keep on taking casualties. At some point, we got to, uh, to say, put our foot down, but... At some point, we gotta stop losing people. Keep on trying to march down south. Taking Beirut. We've almost taken Damascus. That means French Syria is close to capitulating, which could actually be extremely good. For, I mean, it would be extremely good for us. Not that it could be. Uh, we did lose submarine. Basically, no real gain there. Another convoy has been sunk. Again, we don't have a lot of rubber, though. And that's bad for a lot of things that we need. Like, desperately. So, focusing on infantry. Maybe even focusing on tanks. Because tanks don't require... They don't require anything too crazy. Yeah, so if you could just abandon Damascus, that would be great. What if I just force attack in Damascus? Do you think that'll work? I think it will. Force attack into Damascus. I think it'll work eventually. This one will definitely work. Like, he should be fine. How long do you get there? You'll be there in 16 hours, one day. Okay, like way longer than that. Okay, so we're fine. Let's also attack Damascus from the rear. Like, look at all these troops that we can possibly encircle right now. If we can push in Damascus. I don't, like, need you to attack, but it's a little bit too late. I can't stop it. Once it's begun, it's impossible to stop. So, yeah, yellow basically can't do anything. Red is still trying to get some forces over there to deploy. Okay, we're at 51% for the attack in Damascus. Some of these guys are pretty low on supplies. Unfortunately, there's not much I can actually do about that. 
At least not right now. Vance for division, you go on purple. You go on red. And you also go on red. There we go. The so Mancini troops really should be there more than anywhere. Or at least, um... I want to attack these guys just so guys are not retreating out. I don't want anybody to leave. I want Damascus to fall. I mean, we can't force... We're not actually even force attacking. We're just, like, regular attacking now. You need to attack here to make sure more troops don't reinforce that city. There we go. Damascus has fallen. You guys are all on this front line. French theory has capitulated. Excellent. Look how many French troops we just basically encircled. We got two, six, eight, uh, ten. Well, we got exactly 12 French divisions right here. We're doing actually pretty well. All things considered, we're doing fantastic. Japan is a different story, but we can never, we'll just never look at them again. Germany has, I think, started to push back against the French. Yeah, they basically have... Look at these French troops. Look how weak they are. That's actually disgusting how bad they're doing. Russia is also... I mean, these guys are reinforced. They're probably going to be preparing for another invasion soon, but... You know, I'm not too worried. Oh, no, it's right now. Fantastic. Again, if they want to do that, they can do that. I won't stop them. All of you guys up here, I actually want on this front. At least until these guys are dead. We can start pushing our way into Jordan and Palestine in just a second. Oh, one of you is in combat. Okay, well. Actually, you're both in combat. We'll wait for a little bit later then. Apparently, Greece is having a naval invasion. Um, I'm guessing from here. Do we have control over the Adriatic? We do. I, I don't know why there's, like, no navy over here. I'm guessing most of the navy is trying to deal with the Germans. That's about the best thing I can, uh... Best explanation I have. For why they're just doing terribly. Yeah, so these guys are going to be taking massive, massive attrition damage. Which is just wonderful. Just bleeding them dry, I think, is going to be uh, excellent for us. Apparently, we lost the pride of the fleet. Fantastic. Love it. It does give us some, like, pretty bad debuffs. Yep, so you guys can combine it to a single navy. Thank you very much. And now, I think we probably can just, like, start pushing into you. And they should all die. Keep on sending guys to red. Yellow, again, it's just in a situation where just keep them at bay. And that should almost be good enough. Like, I just don't... I mean, if we attack them, though, like, look at all these German troops that can be freed up. We'll try and attack. We'll see if we can get anything done here. But I'm just... I'm not going to put my hopes into it, to say the least. So, Brown, your next job is to try to take Egypt. I think that should be pretty, pretty nice for you. How are you guys doing so well? I mean, you're low supply, but I'm, I'm guessing you still have, like, one city. So they at least have some supplies, but just not a ton. Yeah, Austria. You've kind of... You're doing okay for a bit, but then you kind of started to uh, fall apart. Yeah, the Germans are absolutely crushing the French now. Absolutely lovely. And hopefully that'll mean eventually, as soon as France capitulates, Germany put all their troops... Onto the Russian border. Because Russia's also just been bleeding troops. Um, how many men are they at? Uh, about a million. Uh, but Russia's basically has not really killed many men. We've all, we're still only at 40,000 men dead. And most of those are to Syria. So. Pretty embarrassing for them I would say. Uh, they've reinforced this uh, line pretty heavily. You know of course it is a desert. Where the hell are you going? What? Why are you... What? Why are you here? I do not comprehend what your plan here was. It literally boggles the mind. I had no idea. So it looks like our navy is starting to now finally just be too awful.
combine and go to this port. Yes, we've upgraded a, a uh, we got another research slot. Fantastic. So let's go. I mean, we can get bombers, but you know, let's get research speed up. Yeah, there we go. Just slowly, slowly, slowly start crushing the French. Hopefully, it'll be a pretty massive blow. They've already had uh, almost a million men dead, the Germans, but hopefully, we can see that number jump up pretty significantly with the death of all these troops. Oh, fantastic. 110,000 men. Not too, too shabby, I will say. And they're, now they're spending all their time just trying to kill me, which is uh, embarrassing to say the least. You guys can now reinforce down here. Things are going pretty, pretty okay. So let's go for Eastern Focus. It's only going to take 35 days. A rock is at 8 to 10 divisions. I mean, they would be nice to attack them. But I don't want a bigger front line with the Russians than I already have. I feel like where we're at with Russia is pretty good. Like, I'm actually feeling very confident about the war now. I was, um, for a while, I was feeling very, very unconfident. Like, things were going to go really bad. Because Germany was, like, pushed all the way down to the Rhine. But luckily, they have managed to reverse that trend. Get some reinforcements to where we want them to be. The Australians, of course, they're landing over here in Greece. Which is just perfect. Yeah, all you guys go down here, then. We'll deal with the Italian situation in a moment. You guys keep on deploying over here. I think our new star, our star infantry should be ready to go pretty soon. Yeah, within probably like the next month or two, we'll have another huge just stream of infantry ready to go. And I think that should be at least enough for now. So we get the two lines there. That should be good. Like, look how many allied troops they sent to... Try to fight me off. Like, I didn't think I was that big of a threat that I warranted this massive response. You know, but if they want to do it, I won't say no. Austria, please stop, like, dying. So Germany's pushing them at least back to the French border. We'll see if they can keep on with that momentum. Like, France, are you... You did go to service by requirements. You are getting some manpower back. Italy's on service by requirements. Britain's on service by requirement. Germany is still on extensive. I'm on extensive. So the allies are doing bad. Uh, about 7 million to about 3 million. So more than 2 to 1 casualty rates right now is... Dreadful for them. I don't even know who's in these provinces. Not much. Okay. Don't even worry about these guys. If we can get this around here, that'd be lovely. French West Africa, North Africa. You know, you guys, if you want, like, to rebel against your colonial overlords, we would not say no. It'd be quite nice if you could, uh, join our faction. I don't know if anybody else is really going to get involved, though. The only one I can really see is going to be the United States, but it looks like they're actually going to lose to the Confederates, so... I have no idea. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a mystery, to say the least. Uh, Belgium, how are you doing? You have a decent amount of uh, manpower left, or at least for the size of your country. Oh, we have two tank divisions. You know what? Assign them over here, please. Thank you. You managed to actually kill all those troops. That's actually amazing. Like, that's wild. That you managed to actually get that accomplished. Look at these guys down here. Everyone else will kind of, like, slightly redeploy. Push in from this direction as well. 31 divisions. Okay. Eight is too many. You guys, you got exactly a perfect 24. So you guys go here. Uh, we're going to need to put you under a different field marshal. Unfortunately. Uh, we don't have another one. So we get a new commander. I don't know why I got a new commander. I have plenty of commanders right here. We're going to promote one of you. 
and charge, and then you will front line. Uh, do I want you to front line on France? No, probably back on on uh. Front line here. Delete red. Red, your plan. I understand that the front line gets broken often. So I can understand why you might have some hesitations, but you know, you're gonna have to deal with these Australians landing in uh, Greece. But I think that's gonna be the end of this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. If you're not enjoyed, you can always stop down. You can always subscribe and goodbye.